Hey everybody, how's it going? Now in my other videos, I've shown you how to make chev, that's goat cheese, from unpasteurized goat milk. But for those that can't get their hands on goat milk, you can make it from pasteurized, homogenized cow milk, get the whole milk, but you have to add calcium chloride. Otherwise, you're going to get a very loose cheese and you're not gonna get a big quantity of cheese. So what I'm gonna do today is use calcium chloride as recommended by New England Cheese Making Supply Company and we're going to compare a batch that's got the calcium chloride in it versus a batch that doesn't have the calcium chloride in it. Okay so what I've done is I've taken one gallon of milk from the supermarket and again that's pasteurized homogenized regular whole cow's milk and the manufacturer here recommends using a quarter of a teaspoon of calcium chloride mixed with a quarter cup of water and like I said I'm gonna compare the two so I'm going to take about half of this solution and put it in this side okay so the one on the left is going to be our calcium chloride solution now I'm going to follow the directions with the chev again this is cheesemaking.com New England cheesemaking supply company and you basically heat it up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit add this packet so again I'll divide the packet in two and then turn the heat off cover it and let it sit for 12 hours until it makes curd so let's go ahead and get started okay I have very carefully used my thermometer to ensure that it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit each one and now I'm going to give each batch the same packet of culture and they're gonna get half of the packet each now I know that I'm not weighing this out absolutely perfectly, but if you're unfamiliar with the process, these are bacteria, and the bacteria are going to multiply. They're going to multiply over 12 hours. And, I mean, whether this is off by a fraction of a gram or not is not going to affect how much curd is produced, I guarantee it. And now it's just a matter of stirring in the bacterial culture, and I've done this with a clean spoon for each one, covering it up, and letting it set until the curd forms. That's gonna take the better part of the day. All right, it's only been about five hours. Let's look at the difference. So this is no use of calcium chloride. And you see, it's a little set. Try to cut it into, yeah, it's not ready to be cut into any type of curds. Curds are not holding together. It's very, very runny. Okay, so that's normal. Now let's look at the batch that has calcium chloride. So you see, looks a little firmer. Definitely noticeable difference. I mean, they're still not ready, but there is a noticeable difference. Where this one, you see it's almost holding together as a curd. All right, so let's give it more time. All right, it's been well over 12 hours. This is normal pasteurized milk, no calcium chloride. This is with calcium chloride. You see the curd is definitely firmer. All right, looks like we're getting some results. Now we're gonna drain it. All right, straining the normal pasteurized with no calcium chloride. You see the curd? I mean, it's, it's okay. All right, and here's the curd with the calcium chloride. Look at how much clearer the way is. Yeah, I see a difference. There's a big difference. Big difference. Okay, the cheese has drained. Now, let's check out the difference. It's very, very noticeable. This is the cheese made with the Chev culture, and this is pasteurized milk with no calcium chloride. It's a very, very loose, kind of flimsy curd. Now, this is the same batch of milk, same culture, but with calcium chloride added. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm gonna squeeze out some of the remaining whey, and let's give it a final evaluation. All right, here's the two final cheeses. Now, this one on the right did not get calcium chloride, and look at it's very loose. It's very loose. It's really more like, almost like a sour cream, okay? Now, the one on the left, had the calcium chloride, it's much firmer, it's much more like what you'd expect a goat cheese or a chev to be like. When we give these two a closer inspection, look at the difference. 
the pasteurized milk is very creamy, very liquidy. The pasteurized milk with calcium chloride is a lot chunkier. So it does make a difference. 